In this video, we'll be looking at eight facts you probably almost certainly didn't know. If you did, you can, you can comment down below. You can, you can, you can tell me, hey, so proud. I knew all of you, you dumb, stupid idiot. Okay, maybe don't say that last part. Be, be, be more respectful, please. Probably, please. However, we'll be going over facts like how to control units to how many people you can fit inside the tent. And no, I did not write the script for this intro uh, because the script I did write completely sucked and so I'm just improvising here. Uh, all right, uh, let's get this video started so I can end this intro segment. <laughs> If you spawn a kingdom with hundreds or even thousands of people, when they build their first tent, you will notice that hundreds of people will go inside the tent. The number of the, the number on the house is not how many people can fit inside the tent or house, it's how many people the building allows the civilization to uh, breed or create. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking about that one too much. Have you just let a kingdom develop for like hundreds of years? And then when you come back and you zoom in, you hear this very annoying chanting sound. Well, if you destroy the temples, the chanting will stop. Just like what's happening on the screen right now. Obviously, I am recording this before the before I make the footage, so I actually have, I actually have no clue what this footage looks like. I mean, I admit, a future to me who's making the footage, can you like make the kingdom like red, please? All right, thank you. If there is a battle with arrows, you are actually unable to stop the arrows, even if you pause the game. However, if you make time slow down, the arrows will actually slow down their trajectory. Or monkey spawn of the genius trait. I don't know why. If a person uh, if a person kills a mage, they will get their staff and be able to use it to cast fireballs. And yes, this does decimate entire armies, and yes, they will switch out their staff for a measly storm. I do hate that they do that. A quick way to open the debug menu is by just clicking on it without closing the settings UI. Like it's shown on the screen. You can control units by enabling it in the debug menu and by favoriting the unit you wish to control. This can be used to guide large armies into battle, which does feel very cool. Actually, I don't know. I haven't tested it before writing the script or before recording it. Hopefully, I have tested this before I'm editing it. Hopefully. The monolith will do a glowing animation every time the world box month is monolith, which is the world box equivalent of April. When I was better, I have more facts to share if this video gets 500 likes. Also, please subscribe and, and share with your friends if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, then please click on the dislike button twice to show how much you hated it. Alright, see ya.